neglected and now seen as a public nuisance. The owner of the house was a magnet in the shoe business. Around 1894, a popular shoemaker, Samuel Dittman, had the 25-room mansion built on Burton Avenue for him, his wife, and four children. The architect for the home, Samuel Hannaford, designed other famous Cincinnati landmarks like Music Hall. In that time, people were divided about the new construction, which would be built on top of land for African-American graves. In the late 20th century, it was a nursing home and stayed that way for many years. Warminski toured the house in 2009. She says it had already started to deteriorate. There was trees that were growing and, and vegetation growing up all around it, hiding it from view. It was like it was trying to hide itself. Very sad. The house is on the National Register of Historic Places, but it doesn't have the local designation or the structure necessary to save it. Spring demolition crews are being careful to preserve these now rare sandstone pieces so that they can be redistributed for new developments. Reporting in Avondale, Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5.